Getting us ready for one of the great rivalries in the NFL, even though they play very rarely. They've gotten together in three Super Bowls, and every time the Steelers and Cowboys get together, it's a big deal. Our next guest has a ring from the last time the Cowboys and the Steelers played in the Super Bowl in 1995, technically early 1996. He's former Cowboys quarterback and coach Jason Garrett. Coach, how are you today? I'm doing great. The great Florio. Fun to be on with you, man. Hey, great to have you. What's your biggest memory from Super Bowl 30 against the Steelers in Arizona? Uh, so many memories. Uh, it was a uh, it was a hard fought season for the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know if you remember uh, that we had won two Super Bowls, 92, 93. We lost uh, in the NFC Championship game in 94, and you were getting the sense that this stretch, this this stretch that we were on. Uh, it was taking its toll, and there were a lot of ups and downs for us, but we were flying out to play uh, Arizona on Christmas night. It was a Monday night game, and uh, at the time, San Francisco was going to have home field advantage, and they went to Atlanta, and they lost. And so we heard that score on the way out, and we're like, wow, if we go beat Arizona tonight, we're going to have home field advantage through the playoffs. And sure enough, we did, had home field but it was a uh, it was a rigorous year to get to that point, and then uh, to go out there on that beautiful night in in Phoenix and get after the Steelers was pretty fun. Larry Brown had two interceptions; he was the MVP. So many great stories about that. I can remember being on the sidelines and and uh, somebody said, "Hey, we got Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Deion Sanders, and Larry Brown is going to be the MVP of the Super Bowl." And, <laughs> Neil O'Donnell threw him a couple, and again, it was a hard-fought year, and it was a hard-fought game, but uh, when we won that night, we had won three Super Bowls in four years, so uh, tremendous satisfaction and uh, really fun to be a part of those teams. So the Steelers now trying to figure out quarterback situation long-term, at least for this year. It's Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. Fields obviously has gotten every start. Wilson's still working his way back to health. What's your thought on how Mike Tomlin has handled this situation with Wilson? I don't know if he's healthy enough to play, but fields the hot hand. What's your assessment as a, as a head coach yourself on how Tomlin has handled balancing these two guys? Well, let me, let me just pull back for a second on Mike Tomlin. Uh, Just hearing him talk right there. This is one of the best coaches in the league and has been for a long, long time. I, I spent a day with the, with the Steelers during training camp. And uh, it was amazing. I had never been to their facility before. And it was, it was such a, it was such a fun experience for someone who loves football just to be there. And and Mike was talking about the brands and the history and the tradition. (laughs) It's everywhere there. And um, you know, to see the, the Super Bowl trophies and the pictures of those amazing teams and, you know, meeting with Mr. Rooney and visiting with him and, and all of that. And, and I probably asked 10, 15, 20 people in the organization, players, coaches, staff, people during my time there that day. I said, what makes the Steelers great? And they all had the same kind of answer, the history and the tradition, the Rooney family. And then emphatically, they said, Mike T, Mike Tomlin, Mike Tomlin, Mikey T. And uh, he's just been so great for football. And, and, and to answer the question about how, the, how he handles the quarterbacks, I think he's handled it beautifully. You know, they, they had an issue at quarterback. They didn't feel good about where they were going. And as an organization, they got together and said, we need to address this. Address it two ways. Russell Wilson, Justin Fields. Have them come in, compete. Russell's the incumbent. And then, you know, he has the calf injury. He's not able to go. Justin Fields is the quarterback. And they're behind him 1,000%, creating an environment for him to be successful. So I think what he said publicly throughout about both quarterbacks, about Russell, and now about Justin, you know, it's an indicator of what kind of coach he's been for a long, long time creating that environment. And I think they're just going to, I think they're going to play it out. And I think they should. They're off to a great start, maybe a little bit of an unexpected start uh, for everybody. I mean, they're really playing good football, disappointing loss against Indianapolis, but they're, they're in a good place. And how Mike's handled that quarterback situation has a lot to do with it. And I think they keep playing Justin Fields. And just see how it goes. When Russell gets healthy, they'll address it more closely. But uh, I like what they're doing. T- two of my favorite games I ever was a part of. And, and you talk about the history and the tradition and the brands and all of that. 
You know, the first one, I, I think it was in 2011 or 2012, Pittsburgh comes down to our stadium. And you always hear people say this, the Steelers travel well, and they sure did. I mean, it was a raucous crowd. Cowboys fans were into it. Steelers fans were into it. It was black and gold over here. There was cowboy blue over here. And it was really one of those games. We went toe-to-toe for, for four quarters and then into the fifth quarter. And my memory is Brandon Carr making a great interception and running it back. And it was just one of those games. And it was just so much fun to be a part of it. And then uh, four years later, we go up to Pittsburgh. And it was Dak's rookie year and Zeke's rookie year. And it was just a magical game that we played. We were having a hard time slowing down Ben Roethlisberger and Antonio Brown. Those guys were going up and down the field. But our young guys really responded. Dak and Zeke, they were incredible. And it was back and forth. And, you know, we were ahead, and then they went ahead late, and our guys didn't blink. They just came right back. And I can remember late in the game we had a short yardage play, and Zeke broke through the middle. And, you know, the feeling that you get when you're on the sidelines and you see the joy of everybody connected with the team in that environment – it, it was something else. And Des Bryant was great that day, too. And it was just a lot of emotion that went into it. So two of my favorite games I've ever been a part of. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.